<laughs> hey, sis. Hey, sis. So you're interviewing me. Okay. I'm ready for your questions. Okay. <laughs> um. Hey, hey, it's your girl Carmel Jean-Francois, owner and founder of C-Fit Coaching. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another installment of the Sugar Savvy Solution, acclimating the foodie in you to a life beyond sugar. Today, we're not so much talking about sugar, but I do have something special for you. I want you to meet my sister, Kathy, and she's just going to interview me and ask some questions. So we talk about some of the things that make me tick. So I would love for you to stick around and check it out. First of all, um, I wanted to ask why we're set up here in the kitchen. <laughs> like, you you know, it's funny because I never explained to you why we're in the kitchen. And I don't think I've ever explained to anybody else why we're in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen because you moved back in. Oh, okay. So it's my fault. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying you moved back in. <laughs> and you kicked me out of my studio mm. and um where else do i have to work so <laughs> so i felt like this was a really good location because i spend a lot of time in the kitchen mm -hmm. i spend a lot of time in the kitchen so i felt like this is appropriate this is the best this might be the best place for me to to do all my recordings and everything so that's yeah. why we're here all right i think it's a good place too <laughs> thank all right. you let's get it done okay so my first question for you is, what keeps you motivated and inspired to continue promoting plant-based living to others? Because I'm so convinced. It's our medicine, it's our, it's our healing. It's healing in plants that people don't know about, that people are not giving plants a chance. I feel like God gave us this green earth and he gave us the plants on this earth and said, here's your food. And somewhere along the way, well, within the last century anyway, we kind of turned our backs on foods that's grown out of the earth. And we've embraced the ultra processed stuff that we'll find on the supermarket shelves. Mm -hmm. I feel like we turn our backs from it and now people are getting sick. People are sick. Somewhere along the way we went wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's time to look back at the plants. And so that's what, inspires me to promote this plant-based living. I just want to share it with the world. Okay, so not everybody is willing to hear what you have to say, right? How do you balance advocating for plant-based living while also understanding and respecting individual choices and dietary preferences? Wow, wow, wow. That's a lot, that's a lot. So the first thing you said is not everybody really agrees with it. And I'm not for everybody. Okay. Fair um, enough. What I preach is not for everybody. Okay. There's some people who's gonna, who's just gonna be like, plants are not a meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. I'm talking to the people who resonate with what I'm saying mm -hmm. with regards to plants and what plants have to offer. When I decided that I was gonna be plant-based, I did it cold turkey, I did it overnight. Mm -hmm. It was a decision that I made. Mm -hmm. For some people, their backs are against the wall. Mm -hmm. It's their last resort to be well, because mm -hmm. nothing else has worked for them. Yeah. So they're like, all right, let me try this. So some people are going into this kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily a decision that, that, they, that they wanted to make like me. Mm -hmm. So for those people, I get it. But if you were ill and you came to me with your lab results, mm -hmm. your blood test results and said, I am ill, I'm on these medications and I want to get off of them, help me. There's no room for all that other stuff. Then there's 100% are go should be on board to be completely plant-based with you. Yeah, and that's, that's the approach I take. And if that's not the approach that um, somebody who comes on board with me wants to take, they're not meant to work with me. Right, right, right. You know, right. I'm not work, meant to work with them. It's like, it's either all or nothing, would you say? Um, what I do with the Sugar Savvy Solution is I work with people who want to adapt a whole food plant-based lifestyle in order to combat their food addiction, the sugar addiction, mm. the type two diabetes, the hypertension. If that's what you tell me you want to do, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be serious about it. Let, let's be serious about it. Mm. If you're curious, I can kind of work with you too, if you're curious about it. But I'm not entertaining that meat stuff that you have on your plate. What I do around it in the Sugar Savvy Solutions is um, I do educate. I educate what 
plants do in our bodies and how they promote healing. But I'm here to tell you the truth about what meat, what chicken, what pork, what cheese, what dairy does in your body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, got it. What is one misconception about plant-based living that you often encounter and how do you address it? People think that all I eat are salads. Mm. Lettuce, tomato, onion, and maybe <laughs> a red bell pepper. Mm. <laughs> so that's a misconception. That's not all I eat. Like, and the, another misconception is the fact that they feel like a plant-based lifestyle. <clears throat> We're limited, mm -hmm. excuse me, that all there is to eat is a salad. I, so. I eat so much food. And guess what? I enjoy it. Okay. When you say plants, what exactly are you talking about? Okay, so I, I love that question. So when I first became vegan, I didn't know how to do it. Remember, I just decided I'm just not going to eat meat anymore. I didn't know what the hell. Now what was I going to eat? Because I, for me to, to do vegan food, like the plant-based foods that you see in the freezer section, mm -hmm. that wasn't an option for me. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't curious about it either. Mm -hmm. So all I did was blend a bunch of leaves and and I called it a day for about a month. And then I started exploring foods. When I talk about whole food plant-based, I'm talking about our greens, which is like the kale, the spinach, the collard greens, the arugula, fruit, all the fruits, right? Not just the apples and the bananas and the pears, but I'm talking the berries, mm -hmm. the strawberries, the melon, the mangoes, the, the papayas. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about whole grain, nuts and seeds legumes tofu mm. the soy products okay yeah oh my goodness there's so many the onions the cruciferous vegetables our broccoli and our cauliflower mm. um, bok choy mm. a new favorite yeah so okay. that's what i mean when i say plants okay so how do you prioritize self-care and well-being while juggling your coaching responsibilities and other projects because you do a lot i do a lot i do a lot i literally take it one day at a time one step at a time i think there is they, there's room for more um self-care in my life mm -hmm. but i think right now the self-care that i do practice in my my life works for me like i know I'm, I'm to be in bed at a certain hour people know like you call me after 7 p.m i grow horns mm -hmm. like i'm not entertaining any phone calls after a certain hour i wake up in the morning at a certain hour and yes every morning involves some type of exercise for me but the high that i get from from exercise and not even high and i'm not always high from exercise but oftentimes I just find peace. I get downloads from when I exercise. Mm. I just feel good after I work out. I'm just kind of like, oh, I did something amazing for my body. And I always wake up early enough where I don't have to rush. I don't believe in rushing. If I oversleep, I guess I'm getting to where I get to late, I'm not rushing. Right. And I, that, those are some of the boundaries that I've set for myself. Mm -hmm. Don't rush, exercise when you, like, like these are my non-negotiables. So I'm gonna keep my commitment to my commitment and my commitment is me. Okay. There was one thing that you said that I would like you to explain to some of the people. You mentioned like when you exercise, you get downloads sometimes. Can you, what, what do you mean downloads? Are, I get, are you on the la laptop too? <laughs> Talk about the downloads. Um, I guess you can call it inspiration. <clears throat> Sorry. I get ideas. Mm. Sometimes I have to stop and write it down. Every time I inspiration, something comes through, I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I repeat it in my head and I kind of play it out in my head what that would look like for me to execute whatever it is that I've just been inspired to do. And that, and that, helps, that, you that helps me remember it. Okay, okay, cool. What's a book or movie that has had a significant impact on your life and why? Woo! I'm going to go... back next week so that you can finish listening to this conversation between me and my sister we would love to have you again this has been another installment of the sugar savvy solution acclimating the foodie in you to a life beyond sugar i'll see you next week ciao ciao